cofondatrice de Neuroelectrix. Merci d'accueillir Anna Maikes. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here at Madi Keynote. Thanks for the invitation. So let's get started. As you can see, um, every morning, my co-founder, Julio Ruffini, and me, we wake up with two passions, right? A passion for science. Julio is a physicist and a mathematician, and the willingness to have an impact. So we've been working tirelessly the last 10 years to do two things, to discover how the brain works. And I'm going to talk to you today about the brain, but also use that knowledge to help millions and millions of patients out there that need us. So why the brain? Well, the brain is the most fascinating part of our body. We don't even know how it works, and it's really a complex uh, part of our body. Yet, it creates so much pain for millions of people out there. So let me drive you today on our startup Neuroelectrics and how we are trying to really unlock the mysteries of the brain while helping patients in need. So the brain, as you can see in this video from our colleague Adam Gazzali at UCSF, the brain, now that you're listening to me, is communicating electrically. 100 billion neurons, 10 billion of neurons, communicating every moment at a tremendous speed, making connections, what we call synapses. So it's, it's not only communicating electrically, but also chemically. So what is really fascinating is when this circuitry is like a huge computer doesn't work correctly, patients suffer. Ramon y Cajal, considered the father of neuroscience and Spanish like I am, said it's the deepest forest, you know, almost impossible to get in. So this is what, you know, here at MADI, you know, drives entrepreneurs, you know, the conquer of the unknown, the, you know, the challenges. So the brain is the next frontier. So what happens is when you have patients with ADHD, depression, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, or epilepsy, what happens is that huge computer, which is our brain, is not communicating well. Maybe some neurons are not active enough. Maybe some neurons are super active, right? So unfortunately, one out of five people in this room is going to develop a brain disease. And for many of them, we yet don't have a cure. Let's take Alzheimer's of Parkinson's. We are aging and aging and aging. So we are going to see more and more patients with Alzheimer's or Parkinson's and other neurodegenerative diseases. But what about the pandemic? The pandemic, I think the biggest pandemic is yet to come is mental health. You know, this isolation has really created tremendous consequences in mental health. So for many of these diseases, drugs don't work. So I'm calling now at MADI, you know, for an army of entrepreneurs and innovators that are going to help us bring new technologies, bring new therapies into all these brain diseases. Because, sorry to say, what we have now, just it's not enough. So what happens in these patients is that maybe their brain circuitry is either hyperexcited or has little activity. So what we have been working on on Neuroelectrics, and let me wear it for a second. Oh, would you mind holding this? Thank you. Thank you, sir. So this technology that I'm wearing is what we've been working on for the last 10 years. This is a wireless device, a wireless technology. As you can see, I can turn around, I can be at home, I can be anywhere. And the electrodes that I have on can do two things. They can monitor my electrical brain activity, also called my brain waves. So they can monitor what's going on inside my brain. But also any of the electrodes I'm wearing here can inject current into the brain. So this is called electrical brain stimulation, transcranial electrical stimulation. And what does that mean? Well, it's pretty awesome because by reading and writing into the brain, I can modulate brain activity. We have the power to change brain activity. And this is really important for different pathologies and especially to help patients in need. So anyway, I have these electrodes, they are collecting my brain activity and I'm going to show you how it works. 
So this is my brain in real time. This is my electrical activity in my brain right now. You know, meaning my brain is pretty active. I'm talking to you, right? And uh, I could say that in many of these electrodes underneath in my brain, I may be having an epileptic seizure, which I'm not, but we can detect, for example, our seizure. And then as you can see in this brain model, we, when we detect that your brain is not active enough, we can inject these little currents into the brain. They are not painful and decide where to stimulate to really have a better outcome, right? So in the case of epilepsy, your brain is hyper excited, right? So what we do is inject negative currents into the brain. So let's talk about epilepsy. You know, 60 million patients in the world are suffering from epilepsy and one third don't respond to medication. This means that they have seizures every day, even though they are taking medicines, right? What happens is that specific areas of the brain are hyper excited creating these seizures. So what we do is with this uh, helmet, so to say, inject negative or inhibitory uh, electrical impulses into the brain. In the case of Alzheimer, we may want to excite that area of the brain that is not working correctly. So my co-founder, Julio Ruffini and me, we scale up our company to the United States uh, six years ago. It has been a tremendous success also for Europeans in the room. It's really great to scale up companies. I was with President Macron on a stage at VivaTech uh, only a couple of months ago. And I truly believe we have to scale up companies all over the world. But anyway, so we went up to Boston Children's Hospital in Boston. And there we started a clinical trial um, trying to reduce seizure in children that don't respond to medication. And this is the amazing results that we got. 20 minutes every day during 10 days, we managed to reduce seizures 47%. This means that in kids that don't respond to medication by injecting currents into the brain, 20 minutes every day, 10 days, we reduce seizures to half. This is, I think, amazing because these children, the only solution they have is either an implanted device or surgery, removing the part of the brain that is creating the seizure. So all invasive, we are doing non-invasive brain stimulation to help kids with epilepsy. So it's not only that, but I think what is really remarkable is that what you see is not only this cap that looks kind of awesome, but it's also a um, high-tech company. Let me tell you why. Every patient that we enroll in our epilepsy study gets a different protocol. For example, here, you have a doctor, they get an MRI or an image of your brain. They tell us in our platform where the scissors are coming from, as you can see in this picture. And then our algorithm and our platform makes a 3D copy of your brain. We build a copy of your brain a 3D model, taking into account your scalp, your white matter, and then we compute how many electrodes and how much current we need to inject to get your personalized therapy. We've never seen anything like this before, and this can be downloaded at your home in the comfort of your couch. So again, brain therapy is getting super sophisticated. Technologies like ours are really empowering patient outcome. So. What is the future? I believe, and this was the title of my talk, I believe the future is going home. I believe a future where your mother with Alzheimer, where your brother with depression, where your son with epilepsy will be at home with the tablet connected to the cloud. The doctor will prescribe home use. They will say Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you have 20 minutes of stimulation and they will prescribe uh, stimulation. And every time we provide the stimulation, we will be collecting brain data. So this is going to be a constant closed loop of recording brain activity and stimulating patients at home. So, you know, we are really changing the paradigm in which patients are being treated. So, you know, with this digital twins of our brain, I mean, it looks like Blade Runner or like a science fiction movie. But I totally believe in the future, we are going to build neuro twins of every brain in this room. And this neuro twin, this digital copy of your brain is going to allow us to personalize your treatment for Alzheimer's, for depression, for epilepsy, for any other brain disease in ways that honestly nobody has done before. 
So we are extremely proud of the technology. We just got an ERC grant from the European Commission to build Alzheimer's and epileptic neurotwins, digital copies of your brain. So the future is getting closer and closer. So to finalize, I think that, you know, for the MADI community, um, we started only two, three people, you know, with Julio and myself, with the passion to do good science, to understand the brain and help patients in need. But now we are more than 70 people. We have scaled up the company both into Europe and the US. Uh, we got breakthrough designation by the FDA, meaning the FDA believes this is a breakthrough technology. And we have an amazing team of engineers, physicists, mathematicians, 40% women in our company on technological careers. So I encourage women out there to go on STEM, to you know, really bring value, especially into health, where we need an army of innovators. And I just wanted to say that the reason why I wake up still every morning since 10 years ago hasn't changed a bit. You know, doing good science, bringing it with a social impact for the good of patients with an amazing team. So thank you, Maddie, for the invitation. And you know, have a great, great, great festival. Thank you.